Hello everybody, today we are going to be talking about contact on a player and more specifically how the Babbit braiding, which is only seen in the editor, uh, affects them. And I do have a little bit of uh, something cool for you guys as well, so be sure to keep watching for that. So we've got our player here and you can see that we've got contact, gap power, home run power, I slash discipline and avoid case. Now gap power on down, these four batting ratings are directly pulled from the editor, just converted to a scouting system, and they are what directly impacts player uh, outcomes, essentially. Now, contact is actually not an editor rating and it actually does not affect how a player performs. What it is is a combination of home run power, avoid Ks, and a rating hidden in the editor called BABIP. So, here we have BABIP, and uh, you can see the contact rating is actually pulled from the editor. It's just a combination of void case, BABIP, and power in the editor. So, for example, we drop power here, and uh, contact just dropped by about 20 points, dropping power 50 points. Now we rise avoid case by 50 points, and contact increases significantly. If we drop our BABIP, contact does in fact decrease, as we see. But uh, it is pretty obvious that contact is more, if I would put it the best way possible, I'd say contact is how the game is estimating what your player's batting average is going to be rather than an actual uh, impact for the ratings. Now, that's not super big deal if you're just playing casually, but if you're using a projection system like I am with Mops, you need this BABIP rating to get accurate reads on players. So, uh if you try to find BABIP formulas online, they don't exist. And it is impossible to derive BABIP from these ratings here because it fluctuates based on where your ratings are. At least it was impossible until now. So uh, a couple of several weeks ago, actually, I started work on a BABIP formula and I hit the same bumps as everybody else. I was starting to work through it, but I got kind of pulled off because I was beginning the creation of my live player ranking sheet and things like that. And the bat formula got kind of tossed under the bus for a while. However, in my Discord, which I will link in the description if you're interested in joining, lots of great discussion and work done there. Cyclone, as you can see, he is credited in the top left here, picked up where I left off and just I mean, outstanding Babbitt formula. He counted for all of the fluctuations and created a working formula that I believe is effective within just like 1% or 2% most of the time. It's a very accurate uh, solution. So you basically plug in your contact, power, and avoid Ks rating, and you are given your Babbitt rating from that. So that's pretty cool. That is some serious top end work from him uh now i have modified it slightly to fit my own tastes and also to be uh, a little bit easier to use basically in my opinion um and it really is just as simple as you plug in a player's ratings and then it spits out the babip so if we were to try the center fielder for example we'll put in the contact which is 62 on the 1 to 100 scale we can put in the power which i believe was a 51 Yep, and the avoid cases are a 76. And we see here that it thinks the BABIP is 52. Well, if we go into the editor, his BABIP is in fact 100, which translates to around 52 on the 1 to 100 scale. So you could see it does go directly. It's very accurate. Now let's switch to the 1 to 100 scale. We've got a uh, 123 contact. 100 power and 150 avoid Ks. So I'm going to plug that into the Babbitt formula here. And I'm going to pull up the drop down menu and plug in the 1 to 250 scale. So got a 123 contact, a 100 power, and a 150 avoid Ks. It thinks we've got a 101 Babbitt. And guess what? We've got a 100 Babbitt. So it nails it exactly. I really, really like this tool. So if you're just curious about your player's Babbitt, you want to be able to evaluate them more accurately, or if you are creating your own rating system, Babbitt formula is key. This is this is seriously good stuff. Um, it is 
not the only rating hidden in the editor, but it is the only one that you can pull easily. So uh, it is big in player evaluation for hitters. So I really think that uh, this is something everybody needs to be doing. It's also important to know how contact actually works, because if you're just assuming that contact is BABIP or that contact is directly proportionate to batting average, uh, that's not the whole story. So I'm going to quickly break down how this works, and then uh, that's going to be it for this one. I will, of course, link the BABIP formula in the description as well if you guys want to use that. So you plug in your contact power and avoid Ks with the rating scale you have. So it doesn't matter if you're using 1 to 250, 20 to 80, or 1 to 100. I do eventually plan to add the other rating scales, but uh, that's a lot of work for a minority of people. It's essentially the online leagues that use the other rating scales. And this covers most base game and PT players. So uh, I'm comfortable just having those two available and the editor rating scale for now. So you plug in your rating scale and there's no actual work done up here. You plug in your rating scale and your ratings on that rating scale for contact, power, and avoid case. BABIP is spit out for your rating on that rating scale. Um, it, so if you are plugging in a 20 to 80 rating, you'll get a 20 to 80 rating back for BABIP. If you're plugging in a 1 to 100 rating, you'll get a 1 to 100 rating back, as we saw earlier. Um, and if you're plugging into a 1 to, 1 to 250 rating, you'll get a 1 to 250 rating back. So all the work is actually done down here. Now we've got our constants laid out in this section right here and this avoid k's and power is where uh how much avoid k's and power are impacting babip is calculated i've got it up there for 1 to 250 1 to 120 to 80 are down here and babip accounts for that and uh basically just how much that's impacting it based on uh where it is in the rating and how much that's how much avoid k's and uh, BABIP influence each other in contact because that is important. Uh, avoid Ks and BABIP as they get higher have a larger impact on uh, contact cumulatively. So yeah, it accounts for everything well. You get accurate uh, output every time. And as I've said so many times, I'm really thrilled with this tool. This is definitely the best thing to happen to player evaluation outside of the areas where you know what it is. Uh, pretty much ever. I'm so excited to get using this and I hope it is helpful for you guys to once again tons of credit and love to Cyclone. Really great work here. Uh, definitely one of our many valued members in the Sober community and if you want to join Sober again click that link click the link in the description and uh, we will be more than happy to have you. Thanks for watching you guys. I'll see you on the next video.